On February 10th, 2025, a groundbreaking study published in Nature Communications unveiled the discovery of a significant radioactive anomaly deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. The radioactive anomaly was discovered in the Pacific Ocean and researchers say it was caused by a localised supernova event. And this gets me thinking, is this radiation from the Saturn event depicted in antiquity as the winged disc, the winged disc of Saturn? This is Saturn's atmosphere ramping up over millennia and spilling into a nova event that the Earthlings all over the world depicted as the winged sun disc going supernova. The ancient central sun of antiquity expelling vast amounts of energy. And maybe this is the same radiation that created the global scotch mark that is the Usolo horizon, a charring of the Earth that spans the entire globe, found in sedimentary layers all over the planet. Beryllium-10 is known to be continuously produced by oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere, interacting with high-energy protons, which race through the universe at nearly the speed of light. Researchers have identified an unexpected accumulation of the radioactive isotope beryllium-10, 10-BE, within seafloor sediments. And they say that this dates back 12 million years, but maybe not 12 million. Maybe it dates back 12,000 years. The research team was led by physicist Dominic Cole from the Helmholt Zentrum Dresden Rosendorf Research Institute. And he analysed thin layers of seafloor crust from various locations across central and northern Pacific Ocean. Their analysis revealed a pronounced surge in beryllium-10 concentrations during what they say was the late Miocene Epoch. And they say the Miocene Epoch was a period of time that spanned between 9 and 12 million years ago. And they consistently detected this anomaly across multiple sampling sites, suggesting a widespread event affecting a substantial portion of the Pacific Basin. Beryllium-10 is a cosmogenic radionuclide produced in the Earth's atmosphere through the spallation of nitrogen and oxygen atoms by cosmic rays. Once formed, beryllium-10 attaches to aerosols and precipitates onto Earth's surface where it becomes incorporated into soil and marine sediments. Due to its half-life of approximately 1.39 million years, beryllium-10 serves as a valuable tracer for studying geological and astrophysical processes over a very long time. The precise cause of this ancient beryllium-10 anomaly remains a subject of active investigation. Several hypotheses have been proposed that included the supernova hypothesis. The researchers suggest that a nearby supernova could have showered Earth with a burst of cosmic rays, significantly increasing beryllium-10 production in the atmosphere. Such an event would leave a detectable signature in geological records. And maybe the Usolo horizon is this signature. This anomaly offers a potential global time marker, aiding geologists in precisely dating sedimentary layers and correlating events across different geographic regions. Identifying the source of the anomaly could provide insights into past cosmic events such as supernovae or changes in the interstellar medium, enhancing our understanding of Earth's exposure to extraterrestrial influences. Scientists are already planning to collect and analyse additional sediment cores from various ocean basins to determine the geographical extent of the beryllium-10 anomaly. And they will utilise sophisticated models to simulate potential scenarios such as supernova impacts or magnetic field variations to assess their plausibility in explaining the observed data. The detection of this ancient beryllium-10 anomaly beneath the Pacific Ocean opens a near window into Earth's past, offering opportunities to explore the interplay between terrestrial and cosmic processes. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And thank you for watching.